You've got your new 4K TV, your sound bar, and comfy seating. Is your TV room missing anything to really make movie night or even Tuesday night TV watching special? How about ambient light? I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog and techgadgetscanada.com, and ambient light not only adds a cool and colorful new dimension to your space, but it's also said to help ease eye strain if you're going to be watching the television or gaming for extended periods of time. One product you can add to your TV, or really anywhere in the house, is the flexible LifeX Z color-changing LED light strips. I had a chance to spend about a week with these light strips here in my home on my TV, and I'm going to tell you what I found. But an early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and give us a sub, because it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. LifeX lights are unique in that they don't use a hub like a lot of other smart lights do. These essentially have tiny Wi-Fi hubs built in so you can get them connected and control them with your smartphone, tablet, or other device. With an adhesive backing, you can install these lights anywhere in minutes. Plus, since they don't need special wiring or installation, since they use AC plugs, they can be placed almost anywhere. I removed the adhesive backing and installed these on the back of my new Roku TV in my main living room. It's worth noting there are two versions of the LifeX Z. There is the LifeX Z TV kit and the LifeX Z starter kit. The difference appears to be in their lengths. The Z LED strip, that's the regular one, has 6.6 .6 feet of light strip, while the LifeX Z TV kit has just 3.3 .3 feet of lighting and it costs a bit less naturally. The TV strip is meant to lay across the top or the back of the TV. These LED light strips are controlled via your smartphone using a free app and you can adjust the color of the light, the brightness, you can set daytime or nighttime timers so it'll turn on or off automatically. There's also special effects like rainbow color morphing or flicker effects too. There's a lot of great uses for this kind of flexible, flat LED lighting. You can use a product like the LifeX Z TV behind your TV, of course, to create what's called bias or ambient lighting. You can use the regular LifeX Z kit under cabinets or under furniture for a unique look. You can add it around windows, over mantles, around your headboard, you name it. I've used LifeX lights before over the years. I've tried them out and previously found them to be finicky to set up and somewhat buggy to use and get integrated with other services. I also found they tend to crap out completely after about a year or so of use and just stop connecting and stop working. I'd say about three of the seven LifeX lights I own have ended up in the garbage when they just stop functioning altogether. Now you can check out my previous reviews of LifeX here on the channel if you like. With that said, I've been looking forward to trying these lights again, since I'm always willing to give a gadget a second or a third chance, particularly if I think they've been working to fix problems. Now these LifeX lights, unlike some others you may be looking at, like say the Philips Hue Play, do not have the ability to change with your video picture. These are what's called bias or ambient light, designed to illuminate the area around the TV to reduce eye strain associated with watching a bright TV in a very dark room. Now you can animate them to some extent using the effects tab inside the LifeX app and using the controls for each individual light. You can have the lights cycle different colors and they can flicker and flash too, but it's not going to matter match what's happening on screen. Let's talk setup for the LifeX Z light strips. After my issues with the bulbs, surprisingly the LifeX Z light was spotted by the app on the very first try. I plugged it in, opened the app, and searched for the new light, and there it was. It asked me to confirm my existing Wi-Fi connection without me needing to sign in or enter the password again. There was a slight delay before the light actually showed up inside the app for me to use, but it did eventually, and I was then able to go in and rename it. As part of the renaming process, I was able to immediately have it linked up to Google Home. And this all happened virtually automatically and seems to now work just fine. Overall, I was really impressed by the overall setup of the LifeX lights this time around. The Google Home connectivity appeared to work flawlessly. There was no reconnecting, no ensuring connections, and everything just worked. I was really impressed, especially after my last reviews where the setup process took numerous attempts. The LifeX Z TV lights are controlled with the free LifeX app. The app is actually pretty good and has lots of controls and options. You can change the color or brightness in the app and turn the lights on and off. You can group lights by room or area and access preset lighting options and colors too. Plus you can set timers and schedules so the lights will come on and off at sunrise or sunset. The app is also where you can link up your lights to Google Assistant or Alexa for voice control if you didn't do it during setup. 
The Google functionality was great. I was able to ask my home device to turn the lights on and off and to change colors too. Okay, Google, turn the TV lights green. Sure, changing four lights to green. The LifeX Z lights can be extended up to 32 feet with additional LifeX LED strips and connectors, which are sold separately. As I mentioned previously, you can't cut them, so you'll want to measure your area and make sure you don't have any overhang. Overall, I was pleasantly surprised with my LifeX experience after having troubles with their previous lights. The light strip is conveniently shorter than the other LifeX Z starter kit, making it ideal for ambient TV use. The app gave me lots of options and it's easy to control. On the downside, you can't cut these lights to size, so it is not ideal for smaller TVs. And, well, this may not be a downside, but it is worth noting if you're shopping for lights for gaming or movie viewing, these lights aren't dynamic and won't change colors to your video. You can get them to change kind of on their own and at random through the app. But overall, this light is strictly a backlight that you can dial in and add your own colors to. The LifeX Z TV light sells for about $99 Canadian and you can get it from Best Buy. If you want to read more about this, head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where we've posted a full write-up and you can ask us any questions you have about the LifeX Z TV light either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. You can catch me on Twitter or Instagram until the next time. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.